Hello, this is another video brought to you by FlipWebsites.com and this video will provide an overview of a reverse IP tool that you can use for free at YouGetSignal.com. So let's head over to that tool. It's uh, again YouGetSignal.com and once there we're going to click on this reverse IP domain check. And before we go ahead and enter um, a domain, I just want to explain what this tool is doing is doing for us and why it's why it's important. When you have a website um, hosted, uh, particularly on a shared server, which most people do, um, and that inc includes a reseller um, account. By the way, if you have a reseller account at at a at a web hosting company, you are on a shared server. So most of us have shared servers. So when you have a website on a shared server, you have a lot of other people hosting a lot of different websites on the same server. And it's just a good idea to kind of get a, uh, an overview of what types of websites are on that shared server. Because if any of those websites are on the shady side of things, or perhaps just downright spammy, or hogging bandwidth, or whatever, it can affect you in a couple different ways. If, if a website um, does something egregious like spams a bunch of people and ultimately gets banned by the search engines because all the websites are tied to the same IP address because again we're talking a shared server one server potentially all the websites on that um, server could be banned now that's an extreme uh, possibility but it can happen the other thing that more commonly happens is a particular website will use a a bunch of bandwidth over a short period of time and as a result all the other websites will suffer in terms of uptimes and performance and so when the search engines come crawling and if your website isn't available or loads really slow uh, that can work against you in terms of your website ranking well in the search engines so it's just good that the neighborhood so to speak um, is a good neighborhood that all the websites are you know white hat sites that aren't doing anything they shouldn't be doing. And you're really not going to know what they're doing, but if you just at a glance can see what's going on, you know, it can just it can just help uh, get a better idea of, of what's going on with your server. And when you're buying a website, it's just helpful because if you see a lot of CD websites on the server, it might raise a red flag because you might be thinking, well, I'm, I'm not so sure about buying this website because there could be some issues with the search engine rankings because of, uh, again, that shared IP um, because of these other uh, seedy or shady websites. So let me just show you how this works. So we just type in a domain and I'll just type in one of my test domains that I use. And it is on a shared server at HostGator. And we'll go ahead and check it. And as you can see here, there are over 1,100 domains hosted on this shared server. And then it tells me my uh, my IP address and then it shows me all the websites that are hosted on the server and you'll notice there are some websites in red these are websites that um, could possibly be blocked by web um, filtering software and so the search engine rankings for these websites may be affected as well as, as, as you can see right here so that's why you want to see as little red as possible. Now let's just say I was looking to buy a website and it was on a shared server and I did this search and there were like a lot of red websites. <laughs> Again, that might just be a red flag that we might have some issues with, you know, the search engines. Again, not common. Um, it's not a common issue, but uh, you never know. So this is just a good tool to, to see. And, and even for your own websites, if you're just curious who's all on your server, this is the tool you can use. And if you want to learn more about this tool and why it's important, if you go down to the end of the results here, it tells you a little bit more about shared web hosting plans um, and then a little bit more about this tool. So I encourage you to read those two pages as it'll give you a little bit more insight. But this is another tool that you know I use um, regularly, not only for my own purposes, just to see who's on my server, but also when I'm buying websites, I like to see um, what the neighborhood looks like. So bookmark it, use it, and um, it's, just, it's, a fun, it's a fun and useful tool to use.